Hey there YouTube, this is uh, Jesse with Permo Fit. Just wanted to bring you a uh, garden update and I'm going to show you my trees, uh, pretty much everything I'm growing outside as well as my hydroponic tomato which has got a pretty good update since I think I did one comparison video showing since I adjusted the pH and I've made some changes since then. Not huge changes but some changes. So let's start over here. So this is my square foot garden that originally I started like this big and then I've expanded it to about here and then I've added buckets. So let's start over here. So over here I think, I want to say, I can't remember, you'll have to go back in my videos and watch, but I think these are Clementine or Celebrity Tomatoes, these guys here. Now these guys are just barely starting to flower um, and they're not really getting very big they're maybe half eh, three quarters the size of the ones my parents my parents gave me these and these guys are only about three quarters the size now I think it's because I didn't put a ton of soil down uh, like nice rich loamy soil I, I dug up about a 18 inch square area maybe close to two feet two square feet and mixed in a lot of uh, uh, potting mix and various things like that but what ended up happening is the roots I think are literally just bottoming out so I think it's gonna produce okay it's just not gonna be very big and now I haven't gone through and I haven't pulled off any suckers or anything I'm just letting these guys go and it's doing okay over here I have a sweet 100 and these guys are also not only flowering just fine and you can see how they they produce the flowers you know going down there so they're each gonna get tomatoes I actually have tomatoes on this guy now they're all green but you know that changes now over here in between the tomatoes I have red cabbage now my parents red cabbage they gave me these when they were real small you can see kind of on here the stock is actually fairly decent but their plants are about four or five times the size with a decent sized head in the middle now I think these guys are just literally just cramped for space and are not getting they're getting sheltered from the light so what I'm gonna probably end up doing is is just letting them go as is and depending on how it they look at the end of the season I may actually try transplanting them and uh, continue in their growing season in the, in the grow room I'm just gonna see how I have for space but see like again on this uh, sweet 100 I haven't pinched off suckers or anything well except this guy um, and I probably should but I don't know I've seen a lot of different yays and nays on it and I think until it starts producing a lot more tomatoes I'm gonna just leave it be and as it does produce tomatoes I'll trim it way back so it can really support the tomato growth um, this guy here is my clone of my uh, my beefsteak I think it's the beefsteak sandwich slicer which I have in the grow room now I don't think it's getting nearly enough light and I actually had to supplement a fair amount of soil on top of this to keep it from falling over because I look like it put so much effort into growing new leaves this actually turned yellow and I did uproot it at one time just to look at it and it did have roots on it when I transplanted I think I even made a video of it I can't remember now but either way I don't know how it's doing it because the fence is here it's not getting any none of these are getting very much for afternoon light and I think it's really hampering the growth so when I have my raised bed uh, garden here I'm gonna do another one little here next year it'll do a lot better I put it more in the center so it'll get a lot of a uh, lot of light so these guys here are my radishes I have eight different variety of radishes going 
they're all competing for the same light and everything else. So there's only two or three that are really doing exceptionally well. A lot of them didn't sprout. Um, but I'm just I'm just going to let these guys go until they're big enough to where they start pushing. Like this guy's just barely starting to get you in here. Barely starting to push out of the ground. I'm just going to let them go and just see what they do. Um, so this guy here is uh, Maxi Bell Pepper, a buddy of mine bought. He, uh, he's one of those guys who's an enthusiast, but as far as putting effort into it, uh, garden and stuff, yeah, he's just not not involved. But that's okay, because uh, he put forth the money, and I have the space, and I'm willing to do it, so it's a good combination. So anyways, it's actually producing some little peppers here. Now these Maxi Bell peppers, they're, uh, um, that's better. These are a, I think they're a hybrid, I'm pretty sure they're a hybrid. They're a sweet, hot bell pepper, I believe. Let me just pull the information at stake here. Uh, now it looks like they're just a, they're a slightly spicy bell pepper, which anyways is kind of cool. We tried growing them last year. And it did okay. It produced one little tiny guy, and then it dried out, and a lot of neglect. It, uh, it's not a good combination where I was. So, anyways, this guy here, I planted a whole bunch of um, well, butter crunch lettuce, and this isn't exactly what I turned thought was gonna produce. Now, I don't know if these are just the first leaves and it'll actually start producing a lettuce here or whatnot. So, I'm not really sure what's going on there. But, I planted a whole bunch of it and I got, looks like two or three plants which are doing okay. So, again, probably not enough light. But they've been getting plenty of water and I've been supplementing nutrients with the water to help them out. This guy here is a, I think it's just a bell pepper. They were really behind on growth. They're, I bought this guy and this guy over here at Lowe's and these were given to my, my parents and they put them in the ground and they're a little bit bigger but they're kind of runts. They're just they're just slowly catching up. I don't know why the stem's turning brown or black on that guy. It might be overwatered. We've had some heavy rains and I was watering pretty decently because we've had some 100 degree weather. So hard to say. This guy here is Lemon Cucumber. Um, the leaves, a little bit of spotty on them. I don't think they're doing too bad. I got some white mildew, powdery, I don't know what that stuff is on the back. It comes off if you wash it, but overall the plant is doing, as far as I'm concerned, quite well. And supposedly it's supposed to be pretty good at a container plant. It's kind of taking over a little bit. I may end up moving it, but otherwise it's doing pretty good. So this guy over here is called a gypsy pepper and it's supposed to be a sweet kind of elongated bell pepper um, I'm looking forward to trying some of these I, uh, uh, I, I just love the bell peppers and according to the, the pictures they turn uh, colors so I'm stoked this guy here is just another just a clone, not a clone but uh, just another type of the same one here and it's like I said this one here, the stem looks nice and green and healthy. This one's got some uh, darkness to it. And I don't know if it's just getting kind of woody or whatnot. Because, like, these guys, it looks like that at the nodes. And same over here. But, I don't know. I just don't know about that. Oh, now that I look, I got a lot more tomatoes from this angle. That's awesome. I'm, I'm stoked to try those super sweet 100s. Oh, and look at that guy. Where did, where'd he go? There it is. That doesn't look like a super sweet 100 either. Shoot, I wonder uh, wonder what that one is. Maybe that one was one of the Clementines or celebrities or whatever. Oh, well, I'll just have to try them and eat them, let you know. This guy here, these are kale. And they're actually taking off doing really good. They were looking sickly in little tiny plot, pots forever, but... Uh, kept the bunnies out, although the cage keeps popping off. There, that's my feeble effort. Um, 
But anyways, Kale's doing good. Little uh, dandelion. All right, so let's move over to some uh, trees. So this is my pear tree, I believe. Plum. Oh, I got that wrong. So this is my plum. And I'm actually getting some really good growth on it here just in the past few weeks. Um, we've gotten lots of rain and some warm days. Um, at one point, there was a bug infestation on it. And I can't remember, I don't even think I got any video of the bugs, but either way, they were, they were uh, not tiny, but they were all over the place. So I mixed up, I have a concentrated neem oil, I mixed it up with some water and put in a garden sprayer and just hosed the whole thing down and made the leaves all shiny and waxy looking and really spectacular in the sunlight for about a day or so and I believe neem breaks down in the sunlight fairly rapidly I did this in the evening and I haven't really seen any bugs on this now this guy over here um, is my uh, see if that's my plum this has got to be my pear yep pear and so these are both semi dwarf and stuff now my pear tree has just had phenomenal growth as far as I'm going looking I'm gonna trellis the this whole thing here um, but it's probably going to be closer to the end of the summer. Funds are short when you have lots of projects. But anyway, so these guys have got some black leaf. And I looked it up in a couple books I have as well as online. And some were saying some sort of nematode. And other ones were saying, I don't know. It's, uh, it's For me, it's hard troubleshooting plant problems. It's still growing really well. And I think I did get this guy with a little bit of neem oil as well, but I may not have sprayed it as much. I haven't noticed any bugs on it, really. But the growth is just amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up have to trim it out because I don't really want it growing any taller than that. I want these things no, no taller than about eight or nine foot. Um, and when I get them trellised out, I'm hoping I get it set up. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put them in the ground, but. Uh, yeah, I'm just still contemplating. So these are some afterthoughts that um, I think my mom gave me. There used to be three cucumbers in here, and I haven't transplanted them. I don't have a lot of space, and I've been kind of short on time lately. And they just, I got one left that's doing mediocre. I think that's just a weed. I have no idea what that is. Some crazy fern weed thing. And another weed. This is a dried up one here. The other one's completely gone. So I'm just going to leave them go. I don't know what kind of... They were cucumber of some kind. And I love cucumbers. So this guy's my boysenberry. So as far as I'm concerned, this is just absolutely amazing. It This plant was one of about 20 that we got last year. And it's the only survivor. And... It has just had phenomenal growth in the past month or so. Lots of water, lots of sun. Uh, apparently doesn't care about the heat. A um, little bit of leaves drying up, but it's got just tons of new growth. And and down here, it's just it's literally turned into a little canopy of new growth. We've got some shoots. It was forever. Uh, it was just a couple leaves at the bottom and the one stem from last year that split and now it's doing really good so I'm thinking I'm gonna end up transplanting it I got this little forest thing going on over here uh, those are all creeping jennies and I don't know what else I told them what they were but I'm not really sure I want to get rid of all that and I would like to have boysenberries and raspberries it's kind of an isolated area I think they do just fine um, I could and because it's between my carport and my deck I could net it off to keep the birds out I'm just not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet so over here are some onions these things are freaking delicious if you like onions mm -hmm. it's awesome uh, these things are good too they're, they're sweet they're not chives I don't believe but no, I can't get enough of them. Um, they're really good. And 
They give me a nice oniony breath. Now, when my parents gave them to me, it was just in a container that said onions and looked like a little chunk of sod and had some grass growing in it. So these things have gotten fairly decent size. The roots are exposed. Sorry about the poor lighting here. The sun's at a weird angle, but the roots are kind of exposed, and they're just I just kind of let them grow wherever. And I fertilize them a little, and I uh, um, water them. And I don't know if I should transplant them, cut the tops off, and see if they grow bulbs, or see what they'll do. I don't, I don't really know. You kind of see there's little bugs down there, too. Not really sure. Take you into my dungeon torture chamber.